my wonderful galaxy. I thought today would be the best time to talk about this type of video, and that is solidarity is a good thing, even though sometimes, sometimes, I'm not saying every single time, solidar solidarity could be a bad thing. And, you know, being, being by yourself or being, you know, alone can have its perks. Like, being able to do whatever you want without having to have someone listen in on, you know, these videos downstairs or having <coughs> someone, you know, critique me for what I watch or what I listen to or what I, you know, all that stuff. Because there are certain songs that probably aren't the best songs in the world. And there's probably YouTube videos that, you know, drop the F-bomb or the S-bomb or the whatever whatever bad words you could think of that exist in this world that could be said in a YouTube video or it could be said in a movie or it could be said in a TV show or it could be said in a podcast or an Instagram story or... A Twitch uh, stream, you know, it's nice to have that time where you're by yourself, you can watch, you know, you can watch pretty much anything you want. I'm not going to dive into what that means. Be creative on that topic. I still love to watch YouTube videos. I still love to watch movies. I still love to watch TV shows. I still love reading books. And some books have a lot of curse, curse, cursing words in it, or cussing, or whatever you want to say. They use the they use fuck. They use shit. They use douche. They use you know all of those words. And you know sometimes it's not okay to say those words in any in any scenario. All I'm saying is that it's nice to know that. You know, sometimes you you can be alone at night and you could, you know, film videos where you can say all the curse words you want or watch a movie that may be have sex in it or, you know, a TV show that has curse words in it or a book that has that in it or whatever it may be. You know, there's some... Times where being alone is the best, best medicine, and then there's other times where you want to be surrounded by by individuals, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, whether it's you know something along those lines. Everyone wants to have you know someone there with them, whether it could and it could be a significant other, it could be a best friend, it could be you know like I said, it could be a family member, it could be. It could be anyone in this world and you just want to be with them. And then there's other times where you just don't want to be with anyone at all. And I know I'm, I, you know, I do most of the stuff I do inside my room. But there are times where I go outside my room and eat and, you know, clean up the house or, you know, or water plants or, you know, get the mail or take out the trash and take out the bins and all that stuff. And it's easier to do it when there's no one around. But there's other times where good things happen when people are around. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be, you know, fun anytime soon. I'm just saying, like, if I want to go to, say, an event or a convention or a concert or a movie theater or something like that or celebrating a birthday, even though it's technically under event... I want to do it with a, f a few of my closest friends. I want to do it with family. I want to do it with... It could, and it could be a complete stranger, too. I, if I'm going to go to a bar, I'm going to drink, and I'm going to buy a woman a drink as long as she's above the age of 21. If she's under the age of 21, I will not buy her a drink. Plain and simple. And I'm only buying her one drink, by the way. I'm not buying her, like, five drinks or ten drinks or anything like that. I'm just saying... Now, I haven't been to a bar in over two years because 
we've been in the middle of a pandemic since 20, since, you know, late 2019, all the way through 2020, and even a little bit into 2021. And I want to, I want to go back to, you know, the places I've known for so long. And I want to do these things with individuals. But it's also nice to do things by yourself. And don't have to worry about anyone telling you how to live your life or, you know, except for you. Because you're the only one that matters in this world. And for me, all I want to do is film these vlogs every single day. All I want to do is watch films by myself. All I want to do is watch TV shows by myself. All I want to do is sit down and read a good book or two or three or 10 or 15 or 20 or 30, not all at once, over a course of a period of time and watch YouTube videos and stuff like that and do my laundry without having someone complain about me doing my laundry in the middle of the night. Because that's what I just did. I just finished my last load of laundry. You know, running the dishwasher at like middle of the night. Things like that. With someone that's sleeping right, sleeping downstairs, they'll hear the dishwasher or they'll hear the washing machine and get upset or the dryer and get upset about it because they're trying to sleep. With, it, with being alone, you don't have to worry about that stuff. And I've said this over and over again in the past few days that solidarity is the best medicine for me personally. But don't get me wrong. I love to have a good time with a friend or two or uh, two handfuls or a handful or three handfuls of friends. And yes, I do have that many friends. It may not seem like it because I don't really talk about a whole lot of people who I care about. Anyways, that's, that's all I want to discuss with you guys today is that sometimes solidarity, sometimes being alone, sometimes doing things like laundry in the middle of the night or doing dishes in the middle of the night or watching YouTube videos in the middle of the night, listening to music at high volumes and watching a movie at the highest volume or watching a TV show at the highest volume or watching Instagram stories at the highest volume or reading a book, all of those things are great to do alone and by yourself. And then there's other times where it's not like that. That's all I want to discuss in today's vlog. So with that being said, we've got one birthday today, and that is Naomi Smart's birthday. Happy birthday to her and anyone else who has a birthday on this 26th day of May 2021. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. And ciao. Bye-bye.